Hey, what's up guys? If you want to learn how I make a block of tofu into a scramble that resembles and tastes pretty close to a good old fashioned egg scramble, stay tuned and keep watching. So we're gonna be using a block of extra firm tofu along with a block of regular firm tofu just to have a mixture of textures. We're also gonna be using some vegan cheese shreds. You can use whichever brand you prefer. I am going to be pressing my tofu. I will only be pressing the firm one and not the extra firm one. So after we crumble the blocks of tofu into the pan, we're going to be adding our spices. I like to use a half a teaspoon of garlic, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, and that's mostly just for the color. The next spice we're going to be adding is the Indian black salt. It is seriously the key to delicious tofu scrambles. It's going to be the one ingredient that makes it actually taste like eggs. So if you want your scramble to taste like eggs, make sure to put in the Indian black salt. I'll make sure to link a link in the description below so you can check it out. So after you add the chopped veggies, just stir it all together and basically if you've ever made an egg scramble before, it's going to be about the same at this point. So just stirring it all together, trying to cook some of the water out of the tofu and kind of browning it if that's the way you like it. Um, and then you're good to go. So I usually wait till about the end to add my greens just so they won't be overcooked and wilted too much. Um, so this time I'm using kale. You can use spinach or whatever greens that you prefer. And once the greens are in, just give it a little stir so they hit the pan and they will wilt right down. And then you can add your cheese. So go ahead and add as much cheese as you like. I like to just kind of put a layer all along the top and then I will place the lid onto the pan so it'll all melt together and be super delicious. I am going to just be chopping some fresh herbs. You don't have to do this, but I really like to add this to mine just because I have them on hand. And there you go. Super delicious, so fresh, and it's actually really, really healthy. And you cannot have a scramble without toast with butter and jelly. <laughs> so. I'm using my all-time favorite butter, Miyoko's Cultured Vegan Butter, 
and I'm using Dave's Killer White Done Right bread. And there you go. You can do either with or without the jelly and you're good to go. Enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you felt inspired to make your own vegan recipes and please let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed this recipe today and any requests for other recipes that you'd like to see. Thanks so much and you have a wonderful day. Bye!